Hello YouTube, Reseller Mom here. Welcome to today's video. I am doing an Instacart shop with me, how to ride along, whatever you want to call it, video on Instacart shopping. And right now I've got an order for a little over $19 for Gary, 52 items. It was only like 23 SKUs. So there was a lot of multiples in there, which I like. That is, makes things a lot easier. So today is Monday the 13th and apologies if you see, I have blue teeth and blue tongue because I just ate some blueberry cobbler. And since I'm gonna be wearing a mask while out shopping, I did not need to brush my teeth to get rid of the blueberry cobbler effect. So I've got my mask, I've got my alcohol. I'm gonna stick that in my purse right now. I've got hand sanitizer, etc., And I've got my shopping bags in the back of the car, some insulated bags. And I'm going to do screen recording with y'all today and just walk through an order from start to finish. So let's get started. Okay, I think I got the screen recording going. We're gonna go ahead, we are in the grocery store. We're gonna hit start shopping. We've got 52 units, 23 items. First thing I'm gonna do is look over and see if there's any priority items, which he does have. Ice cream, what is that? Vegan patties, paper towels. All right, three priority items. And then we've got some other non-priorities. Uh, some special notes, note from Gary, no replacement. This flavor isn't available. Then you may remove it. It's a very specific shopper. Got some stuff. We're going to get the priority items first and then work on the other stuff. So the first thing I'm going to do is text Gary. I have my keyboard done to IC1 and IC2 for an instant message. There you go. And then we're going to go back up to the priority. Obviously, I'm not going to go get the frozen items as priority. We'll still get those last. Oh, I'm sorry. That frozen item and that not sure if that's it looks like frozen I gotta get my glasses adjusted my mask is fogging up so let's look for paper towels first all right oh, let's see here hopefully you guys can hear me in the face mask paper towels are aisle nine I do like how it tells you what aisle they're on we are in the midst of one-way streets now, so you're only supposed to go up and down a particular way. Oops, excuse me. Apparently only some of us have to go up and down a particular way. Although I have to admit, I forget to go up and down a particular way all the time, so probably shouldn't talk smack. Okay, we've got Viva Towels. They want a six count. This is a single count. Oh, and we got a six count. Sweet. Okay, so we're going to hit found item. We're going to scan to see if this is it. Okay, nope, that's not it. We're looking for something with a green band. Aha, found it, maybe. Let's try again. Hold on, did that... Gas and the liquor display oh, they want a blue one. Oh my goodness, that's... The green one was on top of the blue one. There we go. Perfect. Paper towels I'm going to stick at the bottom. Just to... Because I know I'm not going to bag them. Now we're going to look at where we are and what we need to be. We got 17... Yeah, okay, 17, 16, 15, 14. So we're gonna start there, just based on layout. Ran into my friend outside who was giving me heck, saying that I was only wearing my face mask to cover my blue teeth. It was fun to run into him, talk, talk shop a little bit. Cashy cereal and cliff bars. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Where is Cashy? You do start to learn where things are. 
No more shopping. I feel like if I did this for a couple of weeks, I would be a complete pro at certain shops. You know, if you keep doing the same grocery stores, I do find that that's a little bit better than, um, you know, like just going to different stores all the time. Even if you just sticked with Safeways or, I don't know, Albertsons or whatever, you would uh, start to learn their stuff. These are probably really crinkly. Okay, Ziplocs. Well, let's go get Frappuccinos first. We are cruising, cruising, cruising so far. It's nice we haven't had any substitutions, but I feel like I will jinx it if I say something. The Starbucks. Now I did play with the spy pen yesterday and while it did technically work we had problems. <laughs> it wasn't showing very well. Where the heck? Huh, I can't find the Starbucks Frappuccinos. And my cart is fighting with me. Fighting badly. I don't know if I can hold the phone and record and push this cart. It keeps wanting to go to the go to the wrong way. Anyhow, my spy pen worked, but the angle of filming was not the greatest. So I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do with that footage, if anything. Worked on videos a little bit today. Also, Amazon FBA has opened up a little bit. And so I've been working on a shipment, getting ready to go to the warehouses and I've got my son working on boxing things up for me. I have a lot of things that need packaging. So all in all a very good day. I hope you guys oh I was way down at the very end here. But I hope you guys are having a good day too. One Starbucks. What does it say? Almond milk. Hmm. Starbucks flavored. How do I know if it's made with almond milk? Mocha light. Hmm. No, this is not it. This is not the. Oh. It might be in the cooler here. No. Huh. Okay, we're going to skip this one for right now. That was obviously not not the right spot. I might, this looks like something that would be in like a cooler or something. So I'm going to keep my eye out. Found some more in an end cap here in front of me. Oh, we've got tortillas. Mission tortillas, 10 count soft tacos. Twenty count. <laughs> yeah. The other day I tried to find twenty count all day long. Couldn't find it at all. Today I need to find ten count. Can't find it. Okay, we're going to pause filming so that you guys aren't just listening to me try to find things and struggle. But just know that the struggle is real. All right, I'm gonna show you guys what happens when you can't find an item. So they, there is no 10 count here. So you go, I can't find an item. And then I looked for this one, can't find that either. So then you hit, I can't find this item. And it gives you some other options here. And uh, I have this Mission Soft Flour Tortillas for fajitas, scan as replacement. It's gonna go into that. You're gonna see it's replacing one with one. I can't do less than one, but he wanted 10. 
this is a 20 pack. If it was the other way around, a uh, 20 pack for a 10 pack, then I would say two 10 packs to replace it with, but that's not the case. I'm gonna get hit, font, or hit okay there, and then it goes into the review. And then hopefully this guy will look at it and uh, decide to be okay with that. I have already messaged him. If you look over in the messages, it will now show that Gary was notified of my replacement and we'll see what he says. Okay, I'm gonna go back to shopping and I will show you anything that is like out of the ordinary. Other than that, you find the product, you scan it, you put it in the cart. Oops, I wanted that button. All right, we have a holy guacamole problem now. They do not have the Sabra. They only have spicy, holy guacamole spicy, and the signature. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And then we're going to text Gary that, uh, let me voice record here. I'm going to delete that last part. There we go. That way he knows what I did. There we go. Now we're going to find, we're almost done. I mean, we don't have too much here. We're going to find some San Francisco International French sandwich rolls. Those sound good, don't they? Uh, I already ate though, so it's not too bad. I did shop hungry the other day, and that was that was not good. Let's see here if I can find some sandwich rolls. I'm gonna take you guys back off, and we'll see what Gary says. He did say, "Oops, what did he say?" He said that he got it. I don't. I'm, I'm assuming he's good with the. Oh, okay. He's reviewed them now. Sweet. So if he reviews them, it goes in there. If he kicks it back, it would go in the bottom of the thing here. And then see how we have the time? I'm 26 minutes into our 56 minute goal. We're doing good. We only got a few more to go. I've got to try and find these sandwich rolls. I am, I think, looking in the wrong section. So I'm gonna run around here looking for them. And as your knowledge grows, it does get easier. It just seems like every I keep getting a lot of new things that I'm not used to finding. I did want to talk a little bit about some of the things I did find. He asked for regular oranges they're actually not oranges, they're tangelinos or something, but, and organic bananas. So when I'm doing that, you wanna make sure you use the correct bag. We have yellow bags for organic so that they know what to check out and regular bags for regular stuff. Now this uh, alternative products, alternative cheeses, alternative meats, those seem to be the hardest to find because every store likes to put them somewhere different. I'm hoping this sour cream is in the cheese section as it says dairy other creams and cheeses but sometimes it's with you know dairy free products sometimes it's here and there and I did find the Starbucks that we were looking for earlier. I'm glad I didn't make any changes on that because I did know that there was a lot of Starbucks hidden around the store in different end caps. I found this one over by the Starbucks store. So I'm um, having a pretty good night in terms of fulfillment. Cannot find this alternative cheese though as we're looking here and it is hard to kind of talk. I can actually put the mask down a little bit right now because nobody is here shopping. I am not finding this alternative. I've got blue trees alternative, regular alternative cheese, at the premium liquor cabinet. provolone. I already looked by the sour cream. <laughs> that was like first try. All right, we're going to continue to look around for a second and see if we can't find this. It's got to be, I'm, you know, when you, when you just can't find like the entire section of something, you know, you know, you're missing it. And, uh, I have hunted down almost every single other alternative meat and dairy alternative in this darn store, but this one. So I feel like 
It's almost like Pokemon. Once you collect them all or have found them all, then you are set up for the next time. You need to go find it. All right, we'll be back. All right, we are going to give Gary a few minutes to answer us. They didn't have the ice cream bars. This is the closest I could find. One thing to note, like everything he's gotten has been soy based and almond based. So he obviously does not eat meat and he does not eat soy. So my options for an alternative were either like a low fat or low calorie dairy product or a soy product. So based on his other items in the cart, I'm gonna go with the soy product. And everything else I've grouped together. So these are the three frozen. I wanna keep the meat separate. I've got other uh, refrigerated items and then everything else. Sorry, this is refrigerated too. And everything is ready to go. Uh, you can tell here, these are the organic bananas, regular orange oranges. They're tangelino something or another's not important in the cart here I've got my spray when I came into the store I sprayed down the handle and the area where my purse is gonna sit so that's all good and then I use that spray to spray down my phone too when I'm done with everything so we're gonna see if Gary got back and if he did I will try and film the checkout process a bit it's really easy <laughs> you just kind of click through you press in four 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 for the club card membership. It's important to note, I found this out yesterday, that they do not get the club discounts. The club discounts do show up on the register, but I, I googled it, and according to my research on Google, uh, they do not get the club discounts. So, well, looks like maybe I'm getting some notifications. As predicted, any vegan replacements are good. So, <laughs> there we go, I was right. And he has approved it, we're gonna go, okay, I'm gonna say great. I'm gonna go IC2. I'm headed to checkout. It was my pleasure doing shopping for you. I will see you shortly. And we exit out. We go to review changes. He should have already reviewed everything. And then it's gonna say go to checkout. And we're gonna follow through with that. I use Apple Pay and that's not very exciting. So I will see you guys back in the car. It, you just hold your phone up. It's really, really that simple, guys. I am now at the car. Got everything checked out. I'll show you that in a second. We're going to hit checkout complete. Take photo. I take my Monopoly cards, stick them in there. And then we just add another photo. There we go. Submit photos. I'm going to stick that paper right in with the Monopoly tickets. I'm not quite sure how long i got to keep them. i got to look that up because i just got them piling up right now. And it says go to next step and then delivery. We have to get this to them in the next 10 minutes. So I've got to go and load these up into my bags and get moving here. There we go. We are coming up on Gary's house here in a minute. I would like to point out that the body of water you see on the right is somewhere where I do like to go fishing neighborhood's pretty nice I'm uh it's just so weird like there's still people out walking around but most of the parks are shut down fishing is even shut down that's what I'm very upset about I think that you should still be able to fish we could stand more than six feet apart from each other fishing but anyhow we're gonna follow regulations follow the rules hopefully everything gets better but we are coming up on Gary's house Let's see here, I gotta make a turn at the next one. The directions interface with Google Maps. I think there's some other options if you don't do Google Maps, but it, it integrated really well. So once we come up on Gary's house, I will show you the delivery options real quick, but we are coming up, I think we have like two minutes to get to his house. <laughs> it doesn't give you much time. In fact, I need to remember that. Once you take the photograph of that receipt, like you're you're on the clock, man, to get, get your butt into the house. So I should have loaded up the car and then taken a picture of the receipt. That is good to know. And then uh, once we get done with Gary, I'll show you my earnings and everything. Okay, so I need to, boy, it's gonna be real close here. I gotta figure out the house numbers. It won't tell me until I move. Okay, 42, 48. Boy, the houses are really close to each other here. 42, perfect. 
Gary's got a cute little house. Now while I'm outside, I always unbuckle. No, I want that screen. So they don't have any delivery issues or you know notes. Sometimes they'll say like, leave at the front door, don't ring the doorbell, etc. I'm going to go ahead and kill the recording and we'll be back here. Look at that sunset, folks. Isn't that just gorgeous? You gotta stop and appreciate things like that. Let me tell you, life goes by so quick. Gary's order is all done. There was no special instructions. It was kind of weird. There was music and a TV going on in the garage. It was mounted up high so you could see the TV. So I did knock on the door because I did have frozen items. But he also had cameras on the garage, uh, one of those fancy camera on the doorbell. I don't know if it was the ring or whatnot. And I could see it blinking on and off. So I just said hello and I kind of did a quick knock, dropped off the groceries. Somebody else had done an Insta cart shopping for him for vegan pizzas at Fred Meyer. So I just put my order with the pizza order that was frozen and we'll let Gary figure it out if he doesn't want to answer the door or, you know, he obviously knows we're there or, you know, the, he's getting notifications that we're dropping off, etc. So we're not sneaking up on him by any means. So anyhow, thought I'd go over that order and then my earnings from last week and what it looks like on the Instacart app here. So Gary's order was for $19 and I think 63 cents. I believe there was 23 SKUs, 52 items. I might be slightly off on my numbers there, but there was 15 cans of tuna. So that was like a good chunk of the order right there, 15 cans of tuna. So that was pretty good, easy money there. Uh, I did not time myself, but it's eight o'clock, 8.04, 8.07 and Gosh, I don't remember what time I came out, but I, it hasn't been, I'm going to guess about an hour. Okay. For Instacart, you get paid out, it looks like, weekly on Mondays. So today, April 13th, I got a payout of $143.94 for last week's work. Now, I just signed up for this uh, the middle of last week, so I haven't been doing it very long. I did check my bank account. It had not gone through as of dinner time right before we started this order. So I don't know how long it takes to physically appear into your bank account. I'm going to check again in the morning, but I'm gonna guess less than 24 hours. So current week, I have zero earnings. Gary's order hasn't gone through. It usually takes about an hour, give or take, for an order to show up of your earnings and stuff. So then you can see April 6th through the 12th, and if you click on that, it will give you the breakdown. So it says my active time was nine hours and 50 minutes. My time online was nine hours and 49 minutes. I don't know what the difference is between active time and time online. Seems um, like those would be the same, same thing. I'm not sure. Batches, I did eight. I did $68 in customer tips, which was really good, plus a $5 tip I did get um, handed to me at one of the doors. And then I got an Instacart payment of $83.55. I paid $25.99 for the bags, and that's how we get the $143.94 right there, um, which is not bad. If you add in the $25 in bags, that's what, $168 I made in nine hours of work. So, you know, I'm okay with that. I'm, I'm learning. I don't have super high expectations <laughs> when I'm just learning something. I try not to set the bar too high or get my hopes up. This was kind of an experiment to see if I don't have Amazon FBA or FBM, what's another alternate thing that I can do to get some money if I need to in a pinch, and I wanted to try this out. Okay, so daily earnings. I did one order on Thursday and one order on Sunday. I did four, I want to say, four on Friday and three on Saturday. Let's see here, if I did, well, I did a total of eight, so if I take out the two, then that's six. Must have been three and two, maybe two on Friday, three on Saturday. That that sounds about right, the breakdown. I know it was one and one on Thursday and Sunday. So you can see here I had a 30, 1333. I wonder if we click on that, what will it say? Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, this is awesome, perfect. Okay, so this one took me 48 minutes, $5 in tips, $8 in Instacart payment, 
Friday. What did we do Friday? Three hours and 41 minutes, three hour, three batches, and then I made $37 in customer tips and 29 in Instacart payments. So is that about $60, $67 for three hours and 40 minutes? Um, so you can see here the batches. I did a $14.96, a $9, and a $43 dollar one so the 43 dollar one was obviously my my big one biggest one there my customer tip holy smokes they adjusted the tip up to 30 dollars wow that was nice of them i must have really uh i don't know they must have really liked what i did so awesome let's see what does the other one do the nine dollar one i don't have much hope for that tip two dollars eh, that was a little one it was a little little lady in an apartment that looked like she needed help so I don't mind that and then uh, the customer tip on this one went up too to 520 boy my eyes at the end of the night I can hardly see the screen anymore um, my eyes get fatigued and then I have to switch to my superpower glasses towards the evening here so <laughs> it gets difficult to read the screens all right let's look at Saturday's numbers I did four hours and 17 minutes three orders Holy smokes, that one was, there was a big one. The $28 one was a doozy. So let's look at the first one. What did I do? I, I did go through my customer like feedback and I've got five stars. So doing pretty good. Oh, they marked the tip up from $343 to $15. Awesome. Now I don't know if that's what was displayed. Probably what was displayed because I don't think I would have taken it for $10, but maybe I did. I don't remember. I'll have to try and uh, pay attention to that now that I know know that that's what the numbers look like this is the first time i've seen this screen um customer tip ten dollars on there no adjustment it looks like which is okay and then the big 28 dollar one let's see um they bumped it up from 1057 to 1098 i don't know what that is all about that seems like an odd one that seems more like it was a percentage based on the bill and maybe they added something. This is one that they added beef jerky to and had some changes. So maybe it was based off a percentage um, of all that. Because that seems weird that they would adjust it by like 30 cents there. 40 cents. Okay, and then let's see this one. This one it was just $17.31 wasn't too bad you know you can see the drive mileage as I'm going through here 2.4 miles from the um, store customer tip did go up so total earnings $17 yeah I'm not 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 too uh, I'm pretty happy with all of that let's see if it will refresh nope not going to refresh all right guys that will conclude well let's let's end it nicely here as you guys can tell, the sun is going down. My teeth are still blue, but I hope you enjoyed me taking you with me on this Instacart shopping trip to see how much money I could make and the kind of the reality of it. Uh, there's been a lot of things that I've learned over the last couple of days. I'm still pretty new to this, but I'm getting the hang of it and I will keep testing it out to see if it's something that I wanna keep doing, maybe have a back as a backup plan. I think that if you are doing Amazon or eBay or pretty much anything in the world right now, you need to have a plan A and a plan B and a backup plan and know of a few different ways you can make some money to pay the bills because right now we are all struggling and this is one way that is an opportunity that you could do. So if you like these videos, give me a thumbs up. I haven't dropped any of my Instacart videos. I just got them all uploaded and offloaded from my phone and started um, editing, etc. cetera, this uh, today. And I will start pushing them live. So I don't know if these are something that anybody is interested in or not interested in. Um, I know when I was looking for videos, I had a hard time finding a whole lot. There was, there was definitely some out there, but it wasn't uh, super prevalent out on the YouTube channel. Anyhow, I hope you guys like me sharing my numbers with you because that's the reality is the numbers. Yes, I could work, you know, I could have done all those nine day, nine hours in like one day, probably. There's been more opportunity in other realms. I was looking, um, before I took this order, there was some higher dollar values if I went up north and shopped. So as you learn whatever 
you're learning, you're going to get better at it. You're going to see where the money is and where to hone in on. Um, and there's pros and cons. Like I didn't want to drive way up there. I didn't want to drive 20, 30 minutes to a higher end area for just one or two orders. So I'm going to stick to the local and that's what's fitting in with my lifestyle. This is something that I can go after dinner and make 20, 40 bucks and just have something in the evening to do. It gets me out of the house too. Let me tell you, sometimes being quarantined with your family <laughs> is a little rough. Um, no, my family's good. It's just, you know, everybody in the same house 24 seven does start to um, rack on your nerves a little bit. So that is it folks. I hope you all are having a great day. Had a great Easter. I know we did. We had a great, great Easter. Uh, did up a turkey. It was delicious tonight. I did uh, the Grand's Crescent Rolls where you take the re leftover turkey and the stuff and you mix it all up with cheese and then you make a, a ring out of it and it was delicious. Um, so we were having a good time. We are making the best out of everything that we can. And I hope you guys are too. All right, take care and I'll see you later.